Is it possible to actually get last place in a race? Seriously, dead last. I signed up for a race with over 1,200 people in it, and my goal is to finish last. Also, just for fun, I wore the most try-hard race fit you will ever see. Racing sunglasses, a USA singlet, and fake alpha flies. I look like I should be at the top. I look like I should finish in the top 10 here. But little does everyone here know that I will be the very last person who crosses that finish line. So I think the goal is to start right here with the six minute miles, start in the front, see how long I can hold the lead, and then drop like crazy. Armed with the fake alpha flies, I took my place at the front of the race as more and more and more people filed in behind me. I'm gonna finish behind every single person here. This might be the biggest effort I've ever put in. There is so many people in this race that are gonna have to beat me. So I'm officially at the start of this race and by the end I'm gonna be at the very back. Let's do it. I was feeling nervous and the race was about to start. The gun goes off and I take off as fast as I can, seeing how long I can stay at the front of the race. Despite holding a big camera in my hand, I'm actually in first, but then my shoes catch up to me. Can't run faster than fake alpha plus. So I begin walking and the real challenge begins. There goes everyone. Everyone is just immediately passing me. Mission is a go and we have one major rule. No matter what, I must always be moving forward. Otherwise, I can just stand around and wait for the race to finish. We're like a quarter mile in. Pace is definitely slowing around me, I'd say. We still have yet to see anyone walking. And here's the Strava race map, basic out and back 5K. So people are passing me like crazy and you can see all the people way in front of me. And then this happened. Oh, we have our first walkers. This is a good sign. First walkers have passed us. So I was finally getting passed by walkers, which meant that I was well on my way to the back of the race. We're about a half mile into this race right now. A lot of people have passed me, but a lot of people are still behind me. We were getting deeper into the 5K, but the hardest part of the race was approaching. Problem is, once we get to slower and slower people in the pack, I'm gonna have to be walking even slower than they do, which means I pretty much have to just be crawling along to truly get last here, especially thanks to my hot start and ability to be at the very front of the start line. Me going out super hard was hurting because it put me so far ahead of last place, but things were definitely looking up. There's still the occasional runner past me, but we're at the point where it's basically just walkers. So it's like there's hundreds of people behind me. First runner here, coming back the opposite side. Remember, the course was an out and back, so runners would be passing on the opposite side. And I was getting past more than a freshman who goes out at his mile PR. Things have slowed to a true, true <laughs> crawl here. Things are really starting to filter out. There's not nearly as many people. It's almost more people on this side now than this side. We're about to hit mile one coming up here. So you guys see these cool shades I'm wearing on my head. That is the sponsor of today's video, Skyway. The best thing about these glasses is that they're only 40 grams, which makes it super easy to wear them in a race. Also, they have no slip, so no matter how much I move around, Round when running, they don't move at all. They stay locked in on the nose, on the ears, and you're rocking. It's also anti scratch, so no matter what, these things are not gonna scratch and super flexible as well. Pretty resilient for all the different runs you might be doing. Also, Skyway glasses are polarized, which eliminate 99.9% .9 of any glare. I'm rocking the blue and white ones, but there are so many different colorways available to you guys. You can buy them on Amazon for literally only $15 and use it this code for 15% off. If you just click the link in the description, it'll take you to where you can buy Skyway glasses. These things are fantastic. I would highly recommend for all your races, all your runs. You cannot beat the price and the quality. And now back to trying to get last in this race. We were getting pretty far towards the back. Oh, this dude's racing the 10K too. Oh my gosh. So we just got lapped for the first time. While I was doing the 5K, some people were also running a 10K, which was two laps. And then all of a sudden we hit mile one. Let's go, baby. Mile one in a scorching 23 minutes. That sounds pretty slow, but I looked at the results from last year and last place got one hour and 15 minutes, which means I need to be walking 25 minutes 
minute miles. My slow pace was definitely working as we were plummeting through the ranks. And then I met Jerry. Do you have any goals for today? Finish. My goal is to finish last. Well, you wait long enough, you can get there. I have the will to lose. That's what matters. <laughs> At least you got goals. Guys, you can really tell there is not many people behind me. At this point there might be like 10 people i think we're very close here to hitting this turnaround point which would mark about the halfway point i still have a lot of ground i need to lose with me coming to the halfway mark i desperately needed to slow down that's when i saw something that changed everything 75 percent sure that that is the last place person my hosts were looking up but then this lady completely crushed my spirits i'm trying to get last place why to see if it's possible how many people do you think are behind us right now? A couple hundred. What? If that's true, that is deeply terrifying news. I thought we were basically at the end. I can literally see who I thought was in last place. According to her, I was completely wrong on my place. I don't know how reliable these sources are. Since I couldn't see many walkers behind, I decided to trust my gut instinct that I was at the very back. And just like that, three to go, I believe. Also, it's important to note, with going under that bridge, we're officially at the halfway point. This is the turnaround spot. What's really funny is I'm walking so slow that it's literally not giving me a pace. And that's when I met Rebecca. My goal is to come in last. Your goal is? Yeah. My goal is to come in last. Well, I think they just passed us, which means we are officially the last two. There's about to be a competition between us two to see who can get last place here. Yeah. I'm gonna beat the hell out of you. That's exactly what I want. And I'm 69. <laughs> I'm here to get last place. I'm here to beat you in being last place. Rebecca instantly became the fiercest competition I'd ever faced. And we slowly approached the finish line and hit mile two. How do the feet feel right now? I've bought all kinds of running shoes and all of them hurt my feet. I would recommend what I have on. Right. These are called Falfa flies. After leading Rebecca completely astray, I was feeling good about myself and encouraged her to run a bit. My biggest competitor, right there. She's gapping me. Rebecca, just keep running the rest of the way. I was trying to do everything I could to keep Rebecca ahead of me since I was confident no one else was behind me. The real battle is just getting started here between me and Rebecca to see who will cross the finish line last. She's got about a 10 foot lead on me right now. She's cooking. She's absolutely cooking right now. A battle of wills, I would call it. You're not gonna be last, I'm gonna be last. We'll see. Rebecca kept stopping to take photos, which made me catch up to her since I had to always keep moving forward. Oh no, another photo. The greatest op in the history of the channel. Honestly though, it was great to have someone with me to talk with as we neared the end of the race. There's a half mile to go. I can do it. Can you beat me? Oh, definitely. As we crossed the bridge back to the finish line, this was what the battle was all coming down to. It's the home stretch. Mile three and only point one to go. This is it, guys. Mile three, home stretch. Whose will to lose will be stronger? Mine or Rebecca's? It's about to be a crazy finish <laughs> down the line. Rebecca had a slight gap on me, and I was moving slow to make sure she beat me across the finish. This is the race of the century. There is the finish line. As we came to the finish though, I realized it was more about the people we meet on the way than where we finish. Or something sappy like that. Doesn't matter because Rebecca beat me. I believe we officially got last place. We need to pull up results to make sure. And I got third to last because some eight year old ran 137 for a 5K. 